Dear viewers, we're continuing with our coverage for the Ritosa family event here on Alatra TV. And here with me are Jael Leclerc and Mario Bonacorso. Could you please tell us something about yourself, your business, and why did you come here to Dubai for this event? Yes, so uh, I'm the founder of the Serendip Equity Group. That's a US and European uh, based uh, private equity investment firm. We are also historically an uh, asset manager. So we started investing in liquid edge fund strategies, then pre IPO technology companies, mainly in the San Francisco area. And then we went on to make investments in renewable energy, real estate, especially hotel and luxury hotel redevelopment. And lately, uh, what excites us and gives us passion is to make impact investments. So investments that have impact on both the planet and the society. And Jael, could you also tell us something about yourself? Yes. What you do? So I'm basically an artist. So first I've been a, a top model for many years and I'm also a singer and I have a passion in uh, interior designing. So that's why me and Mario are connected in our project um, because we wanted to add some beauty in what we're doing. So that's, that would be my part, like create something beautiful and interesting and, and nice to see and also good for the environment. Is this your first time at the, at the, at the event? Yes, so we were invited by uh, friends of ours who are professional uh, investors and private bankers, um, we believe that uh, coming to Dubai uh, will expand our global reach because as I told you before, we are mainly focused uh, in Europe and the US, now also expanding into Central America and the Caribbean with our projects, but we believe that coming to Dubai uh, will eventually expand our reach not only in this area, but also to Asia, Australia, and so on. These, basically, if we look at the events that are occurring in the world, not only economic events, but also climatic events and social events and everything, all these kind of stuff, uh, does it have any effect on the family business and on the business as well, and also on the relationship between people? What can you Tell us from this, from your perspective, how do you see it? So from our perspective, um, I can say that the uh, pandemic uh, has been a big uh, wake up call. Uh, we felt the responsibility to act and to channel uh, our energies, our capital, our network towards um, finding solution to the problems that you've just uh, mentioned. So above all, climate change um, and the need to find, for example, a solution in the housing market uh, where all the new builds uh, for us should become totally net zero. And also on the other side, uh, there is a need for social housing and affordable housing especially uh, across the cities, uh, across the world, because uh, by solving these uh, two problems, we think we can make the planet healthier and also people healthier. And as one of our investors says, we can thus make healthier profits. <laughs> when we were talking about all this stuff, uh, what do you think, what should be the relationship between people? Uh, Jael, from your point of view, how should people communicate or treat each other? Now, I think it's really important to, to see each other as equal. You know, we come and we live on this planet and we all going to die at some point. So it's true that 
depending the culture you're living or you grow up, there's like a huge difference between race, color, um, religion, and that's a pity. I think we should try to find a way to all live together and be fine and have a, a nice journey. So I think that's something, it's time to kind of open the mind of everyone and try to do projects that kind of bring everybody together. So. The project we are doing uh, right now, that's a global project. So we want to implant and, and go all over the world. So we're going from Caribbean to Africa to Europe, trying to build something that will kind of, yeah, bring everybody together and try also to involve different culture in our project. Do you think that it is important for humanity or for us people to unite yeah. on that single point that we are humans and on nothing else, that that's where we will be able to kind of communicate with each other and to evolve as a humanity. Yes, I totally agree with that. Um, what the pandemic has shown us is that uh, we are all on the same boat. So if we row uh, hard on the same directions, then uh, we can make it. That's what the pandemic has taught us. We now have uh, several challenges uh, ahead. Uh, we need to rescue the planet. We need to protect it. And we also need uh, to protect it for, safeguard it for the future generations. So I'm proud to be European because Europe has probably been uh, one of the few organizations transnational organizations that has uh, led the way and paved the way for substantial investments um, that came for the first time out of a real union. So that was uh, something that was uh, completely unexpected uh, two years ago. We couldn't foresee that all the European countries who come together, that the Germans would help the Italians. Uh, and now we, uh, we feel uh, this pride uh, is going to help us you know, spread uh, this message that by being united will be stronger. Uh, it's a matter of uh, sharing objectives, sharing solutions and also those that are more fortunate, uh, that are endowed with capital, they should start feeling their responsibility to channel the capital towards uh, the research for solutions that will help humanity as a whole by rescuing the planet, but also by you know, fulfilling all the basic needs uh, for uh, all humans on Earth. At the moment, recent, in recent days, basically already for 10 years, people are working on a, on a project called Creative Society, which is spread over 180 countries already, and where the highest value is human life. We interviewed a lot of people, millions of interviews, like one-on-one -on -one or like we do right now or on the street. And based on the answers from the people, we actually were able to create the eight foundations of the creative society. The first one and most important is that the human life is the most important. And also that people should be entitled for equal education equal health care wherever you are, regardless whether you're in Europe or in somewhere in Africa. And so what do you think, is it, could that be done by when people will unite and follow this vision or this goal, Jael? Well, I, I think that would be like a wonderful world. I think that's definitely the goal that we should like try to work to. Um, we still have a long way to go because it's mean like changing everyone's mentality. But I guess right now as future parents or parents or, or young or people living on this earth, we should definitely uh, try to educate like the new generation with new values. The values is that we are all equal. Um, we want to 
do our best to be able to, as you said before, give the best education, have every, that, at least give some food to everyone on this earth. And um, yes, I think that would be like amazing if we get to that point and we should definitely like work to that direction because that would be like the most beautiful things ever, I guess. Mario, do you think that people should unite and lead the way and not just sit and wait for somebody else to come and do it for them? Absolutely. I believe that uh, every little push counts. We are so many on this earth that uh, if there are leaders, they show the way. In the end, the others would follow. And nobody should think uh, that uh, their strength, their contribution uh, is not going to be enough because every little drops uh, counts. I mean, in the end, the oceans is made of uh, many drops. So if we all uh, contribute in the end, I believe uh, we're gonna make it. Thank you for your honest and kind answers. It was a pleasure to having you here. Thank you for having us. <laughs> Our pleasure, Robert. It and was a pleasure too.